Hello folks, Clyde Lindsay here from Pixel Pro Displays. Thank you so much for taking the time to check out today's tips and tricks video. So folks, today I want to work on, I want to show you a, a functionality in X-Lite. Some people have a lot of questions about uh, when they open x lights in a different computer as opposed to like they open their computer and they sequence on their computer then they do something crazy and they save their progress then they go work on a laptop and when they go work on their laptop they realize that they can't find a box or a um, a specific uh, a panel that they're working with and today I'm going to show you kind of how to help you out a little bit with that to fix that before we get started, I want to tell you about our awesome PPD Sequence Club. When you join the monthly membership, you get one free sequence included with your monthly membership subscription each month. You get four preset effects that work amazing on their own, but also work with the Kaleidoscope and Warp Effect. You also receive access to the monthly vendor special page where uh, different uh, vendors in the hobby uh, offer a huge discount for different items that they offer for you and these uh, vendors are from pretty big names like uh, Boscoyo Studios, Crockett Fantasy Lights, Wired Watts, Pixel Sequencing, Scott LED and more. You can save hundreds even thousands of dollars on your pixel or uh, lighting needs for your, hob for your display in this hobby by visiting the PPD website, becoming a member. So with that in mind today, folks, one thing I want to show you is, as you can see right now, I have uh, pretty much nothing on my screen. I have a full sequence screen here. And I'm actually on my uh, computer desktop that has uh, a, a, a lot of monitors. And uh, so I can spread out. I can put, let's say, up here I have my color palette. It what? Well, it was right here. Um, and my color palette sits right up here. It sits up above this screen monitor right there. Then over here I have my display elements. Sometimes I need to get in and mess with my display elements. Uh, I also have, like up here is my uh, layer blending tab. And I also have a perspectives tab. And I use, usually leave it here. Um, and then over on my left side of the screen, you can see I have this box here. This is the effect setting box, the box I use the most. And the box that I use second most is our layer setting box, which is right here with a buffer tab. So, with all of these options and functionalities that x -Lights has, one of the things that happens whenever you jump between this computer and, say, another computer uh, might be the perspective that you're seeing. So, currently, this perspective is this. It's set to what I call uh, Clyde One, which is uh, my main computer, and this is what I sequence on most of the time. Uh, now, here's where it becomes challenging. Whenever I switch to the laptop, this is the view that I see. So if I go to my perspectives box, I've already saved this. We can go in and we can double click on my laptop view. Now, what that did was that brought everything back in. It kind of shrunk it down for me so that I can see exactly where everything is at. And that's wonderful, right? Um, oh, look, video, video encoding is complete. We'll go ahead and move this off the screen <laughs> and put this over here. So, um, anyway, uh, I'm busy recording a lot of videos for you guys. So, uh, so this is uh, another um, an, another neat option is having this perspectives box. And, you know, these self-dock, a lot of these self-dock, but uh, there's also icons for a lot of these things as well. So, if you don't need something, there's, there's one thing that you can be uh, aware of is that a lot of these boxes have icons up here at the top. So, the effects assist... It doesn't have an icon. I'm hoping that the developers add that in because I'd love to be able to turn the effects assist on and off. Uh, more on that in another video. But uh, but we have a number of other things. So if I if I I think I have uh, uh, let's see these are the effects settings. So this is this is the effects setting box. I can turn it on and off if I want to. Uh, also, you can have some layer settings here. Uh, I think that would be this one here. You can get rid of that if you want. Uh, so now those two are gone. They're not off to the left side of my screen. They're just they're just hidden because I've activated and deactivated them through the uh, icons that are above. Now, if I want to just see my model preview, I can I can click on it and add it in and take it away. Whenever I get to the end of a sequence, and I'm like say this is the Lego sequence, the uh, uh, sequence of the month club, and um, Whenever I'm at the end of it and I'm working very close at the end and I'm not zoomed in, if I'm zoomed out like this far here and I'm doing sequencing, uh, you can see that it might cover up this half of the screen. So what I'll do is to sequence, I'll get rid of it. Uh, also, and I like to keep it there, um, 
and also the house preview. This is your house preview icon. So there's a number of icons that are here that I use significantly or a lot. Um, this is the display elements button and it I have it populated here, but I usually don't, whenever I'm in my laptop view, I usually don't leave this open. So if I do go back to uh, creating a view, you can easily create a view by hitting the plus button here. And you can name this view whatever you want. And then once you've created, double click on it and then click the save. And you, what you do is then you can then put your, your boxes in whatever order that you want them. See, you don't have to have them at the top. You can have them at the bottom. So you can have things that are at the bottom as well. You can, I, I mean, the, the functionalities that are available are, are very, very nice. And so if you create a new one, you just hit the plus key and you rename it and then you can save it after you double click on it and it will save it as the current view. Um, so it's kind of nice to be able to do this. But now what happens when, let's go back to uh, this one where nothing's here except for the model preview. It's down here on my bottom right. What happens whenever you save your sequence in this perspectives view and then let's say you're, you go to a different computer and you don't, you're, you're on your laptop now and you can't reach up here, up above to grab this and pull this down. So what XLights has is this functionality that's uh, under the windows or the view box here under the view drop down. We go to windows and we can scroll down to the bottom here. We can reset to default or we can dock all. Um, if you don't have your perspectives box available, you can click on perspectives here and, and this will open up your perspectives box, but it may be off your screen. So, um, what I would highly recommend is just click the dock all button. And that brings everything back in that was activated or available and it puts it into your main screen here. So, Folks, that's your tips and tricks for today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked the video, make sure you give us a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell for notifications of when new videos come out because I don't always post all of them in the X-Lights group, but there are some really interesting ones. We keep them. We keep all of our video content on the Pixel Pro Display website. If you go sign up, you can sign up for a free membership. You get access to all of those videos, but when you join the club, that's whenever you get the really cool stuff. You get the free sequence of the month, which is the uh, Lego sequence for uh, March of 2019, you also get access to the vendor special group and uh, the, the vendor special page as well as the preset effects. So with everything I said to you today, thanks folks. I appreciate you joining us and we look forward to seeing you in the very next video. Down through the chimney with those and me. Sam, and every time it rains, it rains. <laughs>